What is going on, you stark raving lunatics? Guys, we have some issues, some concerns, some things are happening. Number one, uh, Classy's Crypto Sphere is closing down in 21 days, so you're going to have to restake with someone else. Uh, we also have a proposal that's supposed to burn 800 million USTC that did pass subject to another proposal passing 11658, did pass 11660, should pass uh, or did pass based upon that and 800 USTC are going to be burned, or are they? Because now we're having uh, differing sides starting to complain and whine and moan about that. Uh, and then, then we have somebody else who says, bro, nobody should get paid and everybody should work for free. Uh, like totally, Th this is getting a little bit, look, you get what you earn in Luna Classic. So we're going to talk price action. We're going to talk about what's going on and you guys decide how you're going to vote and uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, but number one, uh, price action, uh, downward pressure, uh, downward pressure continues. Why does downward pressure continue? Well, uh, let's be honest here because it looks like we can't get our theses coagulated is the old phrase that I used when I was a kid. Uh, we've had this level of support. And notice we bounced hard, uh, move back up. We bounced hard. We moved back up. We bounced a little less hard and move back up. Now we're ranging in this location. This is headed down. This is looking like we are going to have a break to the downside. More people are going to get frustrated and more people are going to leave. And why is that the case? Well, let's start with this. Uh, Classy's Cryptosphere will be closing in 21 days. Uh, Lunk Validator Classy Sphere will shut down. It's been fun, but the state of the chain and the death of the burn movement has killed my want of being part of the validator set. Now, let me just say the death of the burn movement. The burn movement was silly anyway. Um, so that's not a reason when we lose somebody who's valuable in the community, that should be a reason for concern. But as far as the death of the burn movement, um, th that's just shouting, Hey, let's burn some. And it, you know, it, again, if Binance burned 1.4 billion per month, uh, if, if classy burned all of the, the tokens every month, if everybody burned 10 billion, you know, five, six X times, whatever, a Binance is burning and we did 10 billion per month, it would still take 100, 100 months in order to burn a trillion, which means eight years. Come on, guys, this is ridiculous, right? Um, the burn is just a rah, 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 shish, boom, bah thing. The burn comes when USTC and Luna Classic repegs, provided that they do uh, have a burn mechanism built in based on trading volume. Uh, but Classy says, I can't give my 100% to this chain anymore. I have many other commitments. And look, there's a lot of people that were just trying to dump on them and stuff like that. But look, we should be wishing somebody well uh, as they move on to their uh, next venture in their life. And, you know, sometimes people are going to be there at the end. Sometimes people are not going to be there at the end. And it is okay. Uh, what does he provide, which is a value? First of all, it's the staking process and his passion for the community. If we lose that passion right there, then somebody else will step up with that passion. So it will be okay. And as far as validating goes, somebody else will absorb uh, all of these. Lunk Live, Stake Bin, Happy Cat Crypto, any one of these places will be able uh, to handle. So let's just move on with some grace and some dignity for once and not leave these comments like, um, I don't know who's more wishy-washy, you or King Crypto. Uh, like, dude, nobody owes you anything. You know, grow up, put on your big boy pants and act like, a, act like an adult. Um, so he's going to move on, and that is absolutely fine. Then we have this governance proposal, uh, which is, this is, look, when you give everybody a voice, the, the good part about a DAO is everybody has a voice. The bad part about a DAO is everybody has it. So this guy's using his voice to say, listen, bro, navigating the path to enhanced governance. Uh, it is my proposal that both the L1 team and Terra Rebels uh, cease to receive funding in their current form. Any deals, agreements, and further development with Terra Rebels is to cease. And the L1 team must not work in collaboration or agreement with any team, business entities, or development team. Instead, we advocate for a deliberate pause, enabling the community collaboratively design a more harmonious, harmonious and equitable approach that genuinely benefits our blockchain, bro. Uh, this is This is the same nonsense that comes up every few days with somebody else putting up one of these ridiculous proposals. And look, um, here's the thing. Everybody can't be a chief. There has to be a bunch of Indians. 
we've settled on the L1 task force as the chiefs for the moment. And we do this every quarter. And instead of this, we go back to, well, you know, bro, like in February, we found out about this Neblio thing. And like, it's only August, six months later. So I don't know if we've done anything about it. Everything's already been done. This is, this is... Guys, this is why this is happening. This does not reverse this. What reverses this is harmony and not seeds of dissension amongst the ranks at every available and every possible turn. This is a DGEN community and they don't like what you're doing right. They do not like it. And that's why people are like, you know what? I'm done. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move on. Uh, I can put my money into something that's going to do better than, than, than what this is doing right now because these guys can't get their stuff together and they're just voting on the same things over and over and over again. That is what's really happening right now. So you should expect and you will expect that there's going to be maybe a, a, a small breakout sort of move and maybe we get a little bit of a move up here, but then it's coming straight down. And it's for these types of reasons that we're going to see that happen because that burn, it's coming. Uh, all the other things, they're coming. But this type of stuff, constantly navigating nonsense, is why people are tuning out. It's why Classy is moving on. It's why all of these things are happening in the negative, not the positive. Now, price action over here, uh, we, we do have the volume maintains. But again, you know, 573 million is when I started. It's at 448 now. So we're down. Uh, continue to be down. Um, but listen, it's a long-term game, right? We should recognize that. It's a long-term game. It's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. But we don't get ups uh, if we just continue to put ourselves down. Uh, volume over here on USTC, uh, around $12 million. Not, not a big change over here. And then finally, uh, there are three or four governance proposals to burn the $800 million of USTC. What will be the proposal that will legitima legitimize burning? As always, the usual confusion on Terra Classic. Now, uh, here's the thing. What's the confusion? Here's what passed. What passed was 11658, return of community funds not used, and then burn 100% of funds should prop 11658 pass. And it says right here, the, the 800 million, uh, it, it goes into detail, uh, return on-chain funds trapped in the ozone protocol and direct them to the community pool and then burn it. Uh, it seems very, it, it's, it's using words, it's English. It's like, uh, and, and if you speak Korean or something like that, cool. But it says specifically, this proposal is required counter to the 11658 before a flurry of spending proposals arrive. Burning these funds would be a significant step towards any repeg attempt. As it stands, the ozone funds have been trapped out of circulation. And what are we doing right now? What are we doing right now? Uh, well, now we're voting on other ozone proposals. Why? I don't know. Just do what this is. If you don't like it, that's fine. Uh, if, you, if you don't like it, and look, there are people here who don't like it, but there were other people who did like it. So um, you can't re-vote. Vote, do it, pay the consequence, and then move on. Um, but I, I mean, this, again, the proposal 11660 was the right way. 11675 is not the right way because the chain would be changed. Right. It, it, it's very simple. 11660. Why is it not happening? Now, uh, that's the question you need to ask yourself, because if your voice is being heard and nothing is being done about it, what are you doing here? If your voice is being heard uh, and, and things are being done, congratulations, you're on the right team. But it's getting a little bit weird in here. And at some point, more people are going to leave. So uh, if you want to continue on this path, continue on the path. But remember, uh, let's zoom out here. This is your path right now. That path is down, 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 down. So you decide what you want to do. And remember, people are not leaving because things are awesome. People are leaving. People are moving. People are migrating on because nobody can seem to get it together. This is not financial advice. My name is Bleeves. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again very soon.